What do you say to people? Because I, nowadays I get people following me that are very kind of zen and, and, you know, like the absence of desire is the way to happiness. But you seem happy. Do you think that there's different approaches to happiness? Like, do you feel your path, even though you're saying, like, I'm, they call it, I think, a hedonic treadmill. Like, you're kind of like, okay, I got the jet. Now I want the this and that. Do you think there's anything wrong with that? Or does that not, make you have a great life? Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with it. But also, I have no problem with the person who, uh, I, first off, I respect everybody for the talent that God gave them. And everybody has a different talent, okay? Uh -huh. You guys do something I can't do, okay? I have the respect for the Hispanic guy that can take the engine apart of a car and put, him, put it back together and go in there. And I just sit there and look at, God, you are so smart. Uh, the guy that could just be painting this house and he's able to cut that perfect line up there between the two colors. I just look at that guy and I say, how in the world are you so talented? How did, how did you get that? You were just born with it. Yeah. And that guy's just as smart as me. I was just given a God-given gift of understand finances and economics and, and business, just knowing how to go out and sell myself to be able to borrow the money and do things. But yeah. I have just as much respect yep. for everybody else, the poet, the author, the whatever. You know, God gave us a talent. Find out what he gave you and use that. And it's not about money, yeah. okay? An academia teaching, a great professor who loves to get up and teach is, is a wonderful person. Yeah. And you know what? I know I have lots of toys, but you give me a good color TV, a good comfortable bed, and a cool room, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, if you're from Houston, okay. you're like, I need a cool room. Right. That's and, a we all, and you know what? And we all love to go, we all love to, to go out and eat great food because we can, but let's be honest, okay? Yeah. My last birthday, I sat at home and watched Netflix and ate me some Popeye's fried chicken and gained two and a half pounds, okay? <laughs> But what's better than some spicy Popeyes and some red beans and rice and a great roll? Okay, but yet instead, we usually go out to a fancy restaurant. But when you really get back to what we really enjoy and need, it isn't yeah. a lot. Yeah. And that's really what we usually enjoy even more. Yeah, I agree. In my life, sometimes I think, it's like with big houses. I have a farm and I have a little log house, 2,000 square feet. Sometimes I go there and I'm just like, it's almost like your brain settles down, you know, from... So I totally could see where you need that balance. No, absolutely. You do. 